and we're feeling the big chill all across the tri-state area tonight. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian shows us how people are coping with the cold. Well, what else is there to do in these face numbing temperatures? I wanted like the crunchy type of snow, but we got ice, just like pure ice. 10 year old Luisa Pereira made the trip from Roselle Park to Floods Hill in South Orange to go sledding. Don't let the dirt patches fool you, though. There's a few grassy spots, but uh, since it's so cold and icy, you know, the fact that we don't have much snow is all right. The cold, hard ground has turned this park into a sled cemetery. It's so rock solid that some of these plastic saucers just don't stand a chance. I think the last couple of winters have been warm, so people have gotten a little uh, complacent with their uh, tolerance for cold. So they're making the most of it, even with some popped snow tubes here and at the Madison Ice rink that was also packed. Paradise. <laughs> for Lorraine Cavillon, who's originally from Quebec City, Canada, but for those hitting the road Saturday, it's best to keep an eye out for icy patches. It's been a lot of battery replacements recently. Tom Schuster, who owns Alberona Auto Clinic in Verona, has kept busy these past few days. He recommends getting car batteries checked during oil changes throughout the year to avoid any issues in the cold. And also... Check your fluids, all of them, coolant, oil, check everything. If your windshield has ice all over it and you just hop in your car and turn your wipers on, you could rip your the rubber right off the blades. Staying safe in the harsh North Jersey cold doesn't mean you still can't have fun. What do you think of this ice? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, loving it. Even if the sun didn't really keep you warm. In North Jersey, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News. And stay with CBS 2 for your first alert weather. Remember, you can get the forecast any time of the day on our website, cbsnewyork.com or anytime streaming on CBS News New York.